Hello everyone, welcome back to another Fox Tech video and in this one I'm gonna be talking about how you can go back using the magic mouse. So if you've been wondering about the gestures and shortcuts you can use within your Mac, you've come to the right place so let's dive into it. At first let's talk about the magic mouse gestures. These gestures can make your navigation much smoother and more intuitive. Now, as you know, the Magic Mouse has this capacitive area on top, which you can use to swipe your fingers across and make sure that you can like scroll and switch between pages and so on. And these gestures can make your navigation a lot more intuitive. So if you're looking for a quick way to navigate back and forth in a Safari or Finder, you'll be pleased to know that there are also keyboard shortcuts as well as mouse shortcuts. If you prefer to use gestures, there is a way to customize your magic mouse to suit your needs. If you go to the system preferences or settings and tap on the mouse, and if you click on more gestures tab, here you'll see an option labeled swipe between pages. And under this option, select swipe with one or two fingers. This setting will restore the two finger swiping that many users are accustomed to. Uh, which is going to allow you to navigate back and forth between pages without a problem. Now, it is important to note that enabling this gesture will disable the ability to swipe between pages in full screen apps using two fingers. But yeah, it's up to you to find out what works the best way for you. Uh, obviously, you need to find out how you like to use it. But if you prefer using keyboard shortcuts, there is another way, way worth mentioning because you can use the command up arrow and down arrow to go back uh, between like levels. It depends on what you do, of course. Or you can also use the command and left bracket and command the right bracket to go back and forth as well. So yeah, this is up to you to decide and figure out where exactly you want to use it and if it's possible to do it there, how it works and so on. But that is going to be about it. I really hope you found this video useful. Make sure to hit the thumbs up if you did and I will catch you in the future. For that you of course need to subscribe as well but see you guys later.